Hey, back in the game. Hello from Sao Paulo, Brazil. We are getting hammered right now. Look. So the thing about Brazil is when the rain comes down, it comes down hard and fast. It might not even be raining in five minutes. It could be sunny outside. But I wanted to give you five, basically five things that brought me success in Brazil. The dirty secret about this is that these five things help everywhere. And it's five phrases that I picked up a long time ago traveling the world that if you can say it in any language, people love you, they wanna be your friends. And the first three should be common sense, but for a lot of people, they don't know. Please, in Portuguese, it's por favor. Thank you, obrigado, which is obrigada if it's a girl. Uh, I'm sorry, because you're gonna make a lot of mistakes. You are gonna screw up royally. Desculpa. Now, are there more ways to say those three things? Absolutely. Forgive the noise in the background there, making juices and blends. I'm in my, one of my little luncheonette restaurants. The last two though, these are the gold mines and the breadwinners. So after learning how to say please, thank you, I'm sorry, uh, por favor, obrigado, disculpa. If you learn how to say hey, I love the foods from your country, like that's a key to success because everybody thinks the food from their country is great. So in Brazil, if you say, you know, yo gosto da comida, yo gosto da comida Mineiro. I love food from Minas Gerais. Mineiro food is from Minas Gerais. It's characteristically this heavy, just deep, heavy meat influence, lots of beans and rice and roasted meats. It, it, it does something to you. I personally don't go to my favorite Mineiro restaurant more than once or twice a month because it's so heavy. Disculpa, um, suco de laranja? No, suco, no. Suco de limão, sem, sem suco. Suco de limão, sem açúcar? Adosante, por favor. Ah, tá. Yes. Um, it's, it's one of those situations where if you can say, I love the food from this region of your country, people look at you like a cultured person. I love food from everywhere. That's my dirty secret. So if I say, you know, yo gusto de comida minera, everybody wants to be my friend. The last one you have to learn how to say respectfully. Let me say this again. You don't want to say it like a dirt bag. Mulheres brasileiras são muito bonitas. Brazilian women are very pretty. Now, again, I think women are pretty in every country, but if you can tell someone that the women in their country are pretty, everybody loves you. Because the, the dirty trick to all of it is that everyone believes the women in their country are the most beautiful. It's a bias we all have. You think the women from where you are are wonderful because all the women look kind of like your mom. It's this biological, psychological thing that I'm guessing happens. If anybody here is in any way qualified to talk about that phenomenon, let me know in the comments or email me and we'd love to have a chat about it. Uh, maybe we can get into do you marry your mother or do you marry your father? Uh, emotionally or in the context of conversation and how they sound. So just to give you the rundown, please, thank you, I'm sorry. I think the food from your country is great, or this area of your country is great, and I think the women from your country are beautiful. Obrigado. Desculpa. Por favor. Yo gosto comida do Mineiro. No, desculpa. Yo gosto da comida Mineiro. Y... Como mulheres brasileiras são muito bonita. Yes, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm terrible at speaking Portuguese, right? But I'm not speaking Portuguese. I'm kind of speaking world. I learned that no matter where I go, if I can figure how to struggle through those in the beginning, it makes the rest easier because everybody wants to talk to you. Everybody doesn't mind being your friend. So I encourage you, wherever you are, learn how to say those things and mean them. Understand, you gotta say please. Like, I will say please, and then follow it up with some of the worst grammatic sentences this world has to offer. But because I was polite and respectful and asking for their help, they'll say, all right, yeah, we got you covered. Thank you. Whenever somebody finishes doing anything, even if it's telling me that I, I made all kinds of mistakes, especially when people tell me I've made lots of mistakes, I say, thank you. And they look at you and go, whoa, he doesn't really have that ego blocking him. Maybe I can help him some more. 
you know? I I'm sorry, you're gonna screw up a lot. You're gonna screw up all the time. You're gonna bump into people on the street. They got Now, for me, the key and the secret to my learning anything is food, because I love food, so I can go into a restaurant. People think I'm fluent, and I go into a place like this. Uh, Abdul Sancho? Abdul Sancho, cinco Se quiser mais, eu What she said is, I don't have sugar in my, in my fruit drinks. So if I get suco de limão, which is they just slice the white off the lemon, slice the rind off, blend it with some ice water and pour it over ice for you. For me, I don't put sugar in things like that. I avoid sugar. I tell them I want adosancha liquido, which is the, the, um, the liquid sugar. This one is sucralose. Is it bad for me? Yes. I consider it a worse evil than white sugar. Everybody has their, their lesser of two evils. And I want to give you an awful story about a friend of mine who refused to learn the language. And it's kind of funny, but it's kind of tragic. We were in a place just like this. Sat down, ordered some coffee, and ordered some finger food, some snacks. Kind of like stuff you see behind me. What did he do? He asked the waitress if she had any hand sanitizer. She pointed to the counter. There was a bottle of hand sanitizer, which is a clear bottle of liquid, next to a bottle of adosanchi, of liquid sugar. What did he do? He walks up, opens up the liquid sugar, sprays it into his hands, wipes his hands, smells it, and he's like, why doesn't this smell like, uh, why doesn't this smell like that alcohol smell? And it was, it was awkward because she didn't want to laugh at someone, clearly. And I just looked at him and I was just like, oh, come on, man. There's no excuse for you to not be able to at the least read as long as you've been here. I never want to be that guy. Like, I want to make honest mistakes. If I make mistakes, I want them to be the kind of mistakes that I couldn't see coming. I want them to be difficult mistakes. I don't want to mess up on low-hanging fruit, like how to be courteous. How to, there's somebody with a bicycle selling, no, he's walking around selling um, um, uh, cotton candy, giant sticks of cotton candy. He's got a little horn so kids hear him. Who am I kidding? There are no kids in here. Some grown men walking up to him. Well, I want some cotton candy, whatever. But I never want to be that guy who messes up on something easy. You know, I don't want to mess up on something easy and simple. Like, hold on, you'll see him. Watch. I don't want to mess up on something easy like feeding myself. I don't want to mess up on something easy like being courteous. So if I can give you that, this doesn't just work for Brazil. This works all over the world, no matter where you are, especially if it's in your own language. Learn how to be courteous. Learn how to play. Say, say please. Say thank you. Tell people you respect their culture. Their culture may be in the same language as yours, but they may come from a different part of the country. They may come from a different style of family and say, hey, listen, maybe I can learn something from you. You know, and, and that's something that I, I hope you take with you. That's something I've picked up. Uh, I appreciate it. I also appreciate, uh, this is weird because it's not live. Make sure you click the subscribe button at the bottom and the bell and the thumbs up. Tell some people about this channel because we talk about everything from money and Bitcoin to world travel to a lot of social issues, you know, and, and thank you all very much. Bye-bye.